Well, that's a jump up tripwire snare. It's good for goats and pigs, big game, probably wild dogs and cats. And in a survival situation, they're illegal in this country, in Australia, but it can be used in a survival situation. Um, you know, like everything else seems to be legal, like steel traps are legal, oh, as long as they've got rubber jaws. But that poor animal struggles all night in that thing, it's still in pain. And then you can use 1080 poison, and that's legal because the big companies are making millions out of it. Have you ever seen a rabbit die of 1080 or a dog or anything else? It's not very nice. Or you can use viruses, which they manufacture and make millions out of, myxomatosis and calices, and they're horrible too. I think it's more humane, but anyway, it's illegal. We can use it in survival situation, but that's a tripwire snare. You've seen it go off and I'll explain it to you. You have a, a Springer, this is only a small model. If I was using it for real on big game, you'd use like five meter Springer. I wouldn't use fluoro pink and it'd be a lot heavier than that on the twine. You have a toggle in the line, you have a Springer, you have a snare. You have what I call the goal posts. And they have like knots off to the side or you put them to the back always to the back to catch your goalpost and your toggle goes behind the goalpost not in front you don't want it to flick forward and knock your snare you want it to flick back your snare comes over the top of the goalpost your trip wire goes on like so and I found with your trip wire if you have it too far back, well then it, it, the toggle has to move further to, to the set to go off. If you, to, if you put your toggle forward, it trips easier. So that's a little thing. And you put your snare underneath, two snares are better than one because you can make one big snare, it has to travel further to close. And uh, on some animals they're quite quick, like a deer or something like that, they're really quick on the reflexes. So what they'll do is they'll put two snares, they'll put one either side and overlap them in the middle, like so. So you've got, you've got more distance with the same travel because you get caught in one or the other, rather than one big snare. The other subtlety to the snare is this, these little sticks. You can just put the snare on the ground and it'll go off, but it'll shoot low for some reason when you put little sticks, these little tiny sticks in the ground to hold the snare out, it holds the snare back for a fraction of a second and flicks the snare higher up. So instead of getting the, the animal on the ankle, you'll get him up past the knee. It's a surer catch. But the bigger the animal, the taller those sticks will be. The bigger the snare, the bigger the setter. So on big game, you want it sticking up that far out of the ground, like four inches out of the ground. So you'll bring the snare up, it's like flicks it higher. It works. That's the tripwire snare.